7 Habits That Lead to Huge Results You Must Consider This Year Developing excellent habits is a consistently successful strategy to become your best self and achieve your overall goals. Good habits may benefit you no matter what you want to do with your life or how you want to alter it. While some are tailored to specific goals, there are numerous changes you can make to enhance general good. Attributes such as drive, optimism, determination, and self-confidence. The most frequent estimate is 20 to 31 days, adhering to a habit requires effort until it becomes second nature. Creating routines that help you remember to do the right thing at the right time is an important part of learning how to establish a habit. So now, let's dive into 7 habits that will guide you make a huge result in your life. Aren't you excited? I know you are. Hello dear viewers. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to TKI, the knowledgeinsights.com. Being part of your fine lifestyle. Before we start click the subscribe button below, also the bell icon, as we have more insights to share with you for your fine living. Now let's get started. Number 7. Meditate daily. It has a tremendous influence on us when we are unwilling to let go of a life circumstance. As a result, we are plagued with the emotional baggage of a bad situation and person, occasionally, to the point when our ability to live blissfully crumbles. Regular meditation lets us let go while being focused and enthused about what we are doing. Set everything aside, sit comfortably, make sure your back is straight, close your eyes, and concentrate on your breathing while inhaling deeply. The idea is to narrow your concentrate on one item while clearing your thoughts of everything else. Then, once you've returned to the present, it will be easier to go to work. Meditation has resulted in enlightenment. Wise people have endorsed it as a method of alleviating misery. Meditation is good for a wide range of life goals, from mending a devastating breakup to increasing daily productivity, according to personal experience and current research. Modern meditators refer to it as a meal for the spirit, and they feel it may lead to a more fulfilling life. When you get sluggish, it is tough to re-enter the functioning mode. You can't concentrate when anything bothers you. You want to do nothing except lie down. That is why you should meditate, it will assist you in getting back on track. You do not need to spend hours meditating or learning specialized techniques. Just 3 to 5 minutes of meditation is all you need to go back to work whenever you have difficulty concentrating. Number 6. Dress appropriately at all times. Your mood increases when you dress appropriately and feel comfortable in your second skin, your clothing. Have you ever bought new clothes and worn them to a particular event and felt like a million dollars? If so, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Even if you aren't gorgeous, your wardrobe might project a distinct impression of you. The better you dress, the more respect and attention you will receive. That, by the way, can increase your self-esteem. So, could you make it a habit to always dress smartly? You were undoubtedly in a better mood, more pleasant to be around, and walked with a little more spring in your step. You should feel like this every day. Several studies have found that dressing well helps you feel more intelligent, responsible, authoritative, and trustworthy. Dressing well is about you far more than others, which I feel many people misinterpret. Most people here don't care about how they dress because most people don't. If most people were to shift and express themselves more via their dress, the entire city would change. Why? Because the majority has an impact on them. You may not be able to change the entire city, but you may be able to inspire people in your household. Your efforts may inspire other members of your family to improve their looks. Perhaps dressing more expressively can encourage your friend group. But, on the other hand, what's the purpose of trying to blend in when you can stand out? Whether you like it or not, appearance is important. But, of course, people should not evaluate you based on your appearance, they should not judge you in an ideal world, but we do not live in a utopia. Before you ever open your lips, people have formed opinions about the type of person 
That is why first impressions are so essential. Of course, you have no control over your appearance, but it's up to you how you dress. It might be time to stop wearing clothes from a previous era of your life. For example, all those sloppy student outfits you're still wearing from when you were 21, they might have to leave. The memories of what those garments represent to you may be useful, but the actual garments are unlikely to find a home in your current wardrobe. Number 5. Maintain your position. Why is standing advantageous to you? According to studies, standing strengthens the muscles in your abdomen, buttocks, and legs, which are essential to keep you upright for an extended period. Muscle activity aids in the management of blood sugar and lipid levels, which can lead to a reduction in cholesterol. According to specialists, this can reduce the risk of diabetes and heart disease. Standing while working may also help to ease discomfort. According to a review of research on sit-stand workstations, some people who utilize standing desks regularly have reported less low back pain. Standing when working regularly may improve your overall behavior by encouraging you to stand and move more throughout the day, even at home. Aside from the fact that you will get back issues, diabetes, and most likely a heart attack, you will also become lethargic and exhausted all of the time because all of this will impact your brain. Sitting to utilize your brain is unproductive, so starting your day with a jog is a terrific idea. So, whenever possible, stand up and move. Set your watch or cell phone to alert you once every hour, whether you're at work or home, or even if your routine consists of sitting and reading or watching television. Better yet, every half hour. Then it would be best if you got to your feet. Standing can help you lose weight, but it isn't the sole benefit. According to medical research, standing for as little as 30 minutes each day can lower your risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. However, standing for 90 minutes can lower that risk by more than 33%. The longer you stand, the more benefits you will receive. When you stand, you activate all of your postural muscles, which may help you avoid future back and neck problems. Our bodies are designed to move. And for most of our life, we had to be continually on the go to live. However, as time has passed, we have reached the point where we spend too much time sitting, which is bad. Your blood relies on you to remain moving for it to flow correctly. Your nerves and skin, too, require continual activity. So what do you believe happens when you sit in front of a computer? Number 4. A to-do list on paper. Life may be stressful with work and personal responsibilities, and it's much more upsetting when you forget something important. You can prioritize your chores, keep track of what has to be done, and feel productive and prepared in all facets of your life by creating systematic to-do lists. It will also offer you a sense of accomplishment. When you check at your to-do list at the end of the day and realize you've completed most of it, you feel like you haven't squandered your day. You accomplished something significant? Indeed, if you write out your weekly, monthly, or annual goals and post them on your wall, you will be continuously reminded of your ultimate aim. Almost everyone struggles to complete tasks. However, some of us struggle with the first step, deciding what we need to do. The to-do list, in principle, is the answer. It's a tried and true strategy that's charming in its simplicity, decide out what has to be done and in what order. Write down the chores. Do them. Cross them off one by one. I don't mean to upset anyone, but your memory isn't as sharp as you believe. As a result, you're prone to forgetting stuff. Having a to-do list is the simplest approach to never forget anything. But don't keep it on your phone or computer since you use your phone for many other things and probably have a lot of other notes, which is a distraction. A small piece of paper on your desk or at home would be a better solution. When your to-do list is on your phone, you pick it up to see what you need to accomplish, but you wind up reading Instagram or Facebook and spending far more time than expected. Maintain a clear approach. This will help you organize your chores in order of importance, and you will not feel overwhelmed when looking ahead to tasks for tomorrow, next week, or next month. 
be honest with yourself about what you can do in 24 hours. Your daily to-do list should have 10 things, preferably no more than 5. Number 3. Continue your morning jog. Jogging is a slow, steady kind of running. It takes longer than running but is faster than walking. The primary purpose of jogging is to maintain your heart rate up without placing too much strain on your body. This is less taxing on the body, consumes less energy, and assists in endurance for a longer length of time. The idea is to get you energized for the remainder of the day. It may not be easy to push yourself to go for a morning jog, but it will become second nature if you make it a habit. It becomes really easy, the secret is to get adequate sleep. Jogging is a total body workout that prepares the body for an intense workout or other physical activity. You might be surprised that jogging helps your body in ways other than weight loss. For example, it helps the body build endurance and stamina without being unduly taxing. It helps strengthen the muscles and bones while also maintaining the heart and mind in good shape. I've hated jogging my entire life. I can't take how dull it is. I'd rather go to the gym for an hour than jog for 15 minutes. But I continue to do it because the rewards are too great. First and foremost, it will make you psyched for the day. Secondly, it will give you a sense of accomplishment and set you up to be productive for the remainder of the day. Especially if you plan to spend the rest of the day sitting at a desk or in front of a computer, don't overdo it, you don't want to be weary by the conclusion of your jog. If you keep your run to 30 minutes, you'll be less prone to overstretch or overuse your muscles. This corresponds to a significantly lower risk of injury. In addition, your body will feel refreshed and invigorated for your next long run if you follow the normal stretching and cool-down methods. Even if you often run greater distances, including a 30-minute run in your daily exercise routine may be considerably more helpful to your health in the long term. It's a big claim, but science supports it. Shorter runs regularly can improve your fitness and add years to your life expectancy. This is due to various factors, including enhanced circulation, lower blood pressure, a better balance of good and bad cholesterol, and lower levels of stress hormones. Your quality of life will increase, basic fitness has been linked to enhanced brain and memory function at a later age on several occasions. Number 2. Keep hydrated. According to the National Center for Biotechnology Information, dehydration can dry down the mucous membranes of our lungs and nasal passages, lowering their resistance to infections. As a result, drink enough water regularly to keep your immune system strong. You may also consume hot beverages that have been shown to boost immunity naturally, such as ginger tea, lemon honey water, etc. On the other hand, dehydration fluctuates depending on whether you've had a good workout or whether you've been sick. Electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, and chloride may be necessary for some circumstances to help the body maintain fluid balance and keep the cells in our bodies operating properly. The proper electrolyte, carbohydrate, and salt balance must be established to accomplish appropriate rehydration. You are comprised of water, your brain and heart are both 75% water, therefore, they use most of the water you ingest. Therefore, when you are dehydrated, your brain begins to perform inefficiently. Some studies even demonstrate that your brain shrinks if you don't drink enough water. This is because a dehydrated brain must work far harder than a hydrated one to complete the same activity. So, if you want to remain busy and productive all the time, you must be in a good mood. Continue to drink water. Just be careful not to overhydrate. Water is required for the life of the human body. Every organ and cell in the body must be maintained hydrated to function correctly. Water makes up to 60% of an adult's body weight. It is the basic building substance in cells and delivers several other advantages to our bodies. The amount of water you need to drink during the day is dependent on your age, weight, and gender. Athletes may need to drink more water since they lose more fluids during strenuous exercise. The majority of people are dehydrated because they do not drink enough water. Why? We consume soft drinks, juices, 
cocktails, and everything else the world has to offer. We choose a hot beverage instead of a cup of water. However, simply replacing most of your beverages with water will do you good. Number 1. Before you do or say anything, take a moment to reflect. Conversations with friends, students, family, and co-workers are natural, as is the flow of the conversation when we are surrounded by people we know and trust. When we are outraged about someone or something, we may lose our ability to think clearly before responding. Making assumptions is never a smart idea. Your friend is confronting you about something you did, but their intention is not to harm you but to explain what you might have done differently. On the other hand, you may misread their comments and lash out without thinking things through. Not. Everyone means to cause you damage. Before responding to their comments, be sure you fully understand their goals. First, listen, then speak. Ask them if you're not sure what they're up to. Never make conclusions about another person's motivations. They could disagree. How many times have you spoken something rashly and then regretted it? That's how frequently relationships fail, friendships deteriorate, or you get into problems. To some extent, this is natural since your brain avoids thinking at all costs because it uses a lot of energy. Therefore, it automates a lot of its activities. But that doesn't mean you can't make a difference. Although it will force you to speak less since you will be thinking more, your words will be more valued, and your actions will be more correct. Consider how much you respect someone who does not mean what they say. The response to this question will emphasize the importance of the think-before-you-speak approach in your life. It is vital to present yourself correctly, whether personally or professionally, even via your words. Takeaway. Remember that altering your life isn't a major decision that you make all of a sudden, it's all about making tiny adjustments every day. After a few months or even years, you'll notice that your life has improved substantially. Do not try to apply all seven behaviors at once, you will become fatigued and will most likely quit up. Try them one at a time, starting with the five whys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Encourage us by hitting like, share, and subscribe to the knowledgeinsights.com YouTube channel.